Test 1, 2, 3. Good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the Dungeon Guide of Frozen Tower Undead P1F uh, version Weakened. The first, you need to buy the key near Bloody Eyes and then we go to the Get 4. The minimum requirement for this dungeon is 55. Now, let's go to the Get 4. And the most drop list from this dungeon is Titanium. And also, you can only run 5 times per day. So, this dungeon is very different from like in Dust and Ruina Station. You need to do the quest. First, after you start the dungeon, you need to find there is a name Pierce Hound. You need to kill it to get the beat. Now, after the beat, you click the spring. Oh yeah, thanks to the new episode of Cabal, you now you quest. There is no need you click here, but instead you can press the space bar on your keyboard. That is very fast. Now after it, then you kill one of these hound to get the item, the quest item. Then we move to the next room. This is the first boss. We get the quest item. Now we move to here. Yeah, press this fire. Yeah, you or oh, the quest you don't need to click. Just press the space bar. It is very simple and fast. And then after you click this bond, then you click this fire again. And then this click this fire. This fire. Then we move to here. <coughs> click this one. Then we click this pillar. Then we move. Click this cat. Uh, if the quest appear like this, then you cannot press the space bar because it is not function. You just need to click it. <coughs> then we move inside. And click this table. Then we kill. This is the werewolf. We need to kill it and get a quest item. Then we click back this and we finish. Then we go out. Click this portal. <coughs> then we move to the spring here. Click this one. Then this one. This one. Then we move to here. Click this. Then we go back to here and click this to open the get. Next we kill we click this lamp. And after this one. Then this one. This one. And we click this one. And <coughs> the gate is open. We need to kill this boss. Yeah, I love this dungeon because it drops titanium and sometimes if you are lucky enough you will get two slots. Mostly it sells a really high price so it is worth it especially for breeder one. Now next you click this lion head move here you click this lamp kill only one of this gold then we move back to the lamp click and the boss will appear I suggest you not to kill all these gold you need to remain one for your next quest because if you kill all of them and you have to wait for its respawn then next you kill click this fire and you need to kill 20 gold okay. yeah this 
Chris is also the best place to farm titanium. See, there is a lot of titanium item. <clears throat> then you need to click this one to move. Oh, sorry, uh, my item is really full. All right, now we move to here. Click this lion, the right side. Then we move inside this and destroy the chest. <coughs> Kill the two minion mini boss. Destroy the game. Then you find there is a boss named Lepto. Kill it, and after done, you click this lion head. Click this fountain. Then you need to bring the soul of each monster. So that's why just now I told you not to kill all of these go warrior because you need to wait for its respawn time. That's why you need to kill one of each one of them. <clears throat> After done, we go back to the fountain and go to the next room. Click this. Then we move inside. Then you need to click this pillar. Next, this bookshelf. And next, the table. Yeah, there's a boss up here. You need to kill it. And there is a gate. You need to destroy this one to kill this boss. And our boss is dead. We get the quest item. Then click this piano. Click this portal. Now you arrive. In here then you click in the middle stone then there is a three way you need to go to the mid one don't go to the wrong one because it will transfer you back from the beginning next you click this one and after get open you find this watcher and kill it you get the quest item then you click the middle of this then there are three monster appear you only need to focus this one and also focus on this side after the captain is spawned after the captain is dead you click the middle of this press spacebar and the general will appear alright then let's move There is a Trojan warrior, you can kill it for extra chest or you just leave it. There is no problem. And then you need to kill this player. Get a quest item. Click this middle fire. Then proceed to this the right side flag here. Then you move to the next room you click this book not this cross just click this book and there's another boss named prime knight you kill it for extra chest <coughs> and then you only need to kill three of golems but if you want you can kill all of them there are, there are five golems i just kill all of them for extra chest After done, move, click the cross to get the key. 
right to pick up the item <coughs> Then you click this pillar to move to the next room. This is the last boss named Mega Herb. After you pick up the quest item, then you click this one. Click this portal, and then you move back to the center room. Click this mid stone then you go to the right one not and click this one the chest appear destroy the chest and the dungeon is end there is no dungeon point all right thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a nice day